Hi! Welcome to another Flash Friday footage. It's so good to see you again. I'm sorry it's been a little while. Um, this week's story comes to you from my Wattpad account, actually, so if you want to read this story and some of the other stories that you've seen on Flash Friday footage, then you can head over to my Wattpad account and check it out. And I'll leave the link for that below. So this week's story is called A New Planet. Enjoy. Being the first person to set foot on an alien planet was surprisingly anticlimactic. After the endless years of training, the countless practice flights, the drills and checklists that he practiced so often he did them in his sleep, literally, it was just a patch of dirt. He looked down at his boots. He should have prepared a speech or something witty to say, but he hadn't, and now it was too late. The dust that had been disturbed by his arrival settled down in a thin brownish layer. He must have been standing there for a while. He turned back to his landing pod and gave the outboard camera a thumbs up. Embarrassingly kitsch, but it was the only thing that came to mind. He took a step forward, raising another cloud of dust. Take some soil samples, a few cutting of local flora, and that was it. Years of training for something a drone could have done with half the money and twice as fast. He sighed and plodded forward. The plants seemed to be in what passed for a dormant stage, their branches bare and dry. He snapped off a few twigs and put them into his vial. It was clumsy to work with the gloves, but the atmosphere was poisonous. Exposure to his skin would result in some nasty blisters and, eventually, death. He stooped to gather a soil sample. He didn't hear anything, but he felt the force of a gaze on him. A native creature? Something like excitement stirred inside him. A drone would have to be incredibly lucky to catch an animal. Never mind that he was getting lucky. He looked up slowly, determined not to spook it away. It was a symmetrical bipedal creature, mostly hairless save for a shock of red hair on its head. It looked surprisingly small and frail, barely thicker than the dead branches that it was attempting to hide in. It gazed at him with wide eyes, and then its mouth opened. He hit the record button in time to capture its unintelligible sounds. They were going to eat this up back home. Welcome to Iowa, it babbled, whatever that meant. A ritual greeting, perhaps, or a mating call? He grinned and prepped the tranquilizer. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this week's story. If you want to see more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can always follow me on Twitter or check out my Wattpad account or my website or my blog. There's a lot of options really, so check it out. The links for that are all down below. Um, it's great to see you this week and I hope you have a good weekend and we'll see you again next Friday. Bye. Um, let me start over. Let me try this again.